Howdy YouTube parts. Welcome back to High Noon Leatherworks. Jack Spade here with you. Back for another episode of working on the Western Wallet. So today we're going to be doing some hole punching for stitching holes. So come on in and we'll get started. So today we're going to go ahead and punch the stitching holes and these hole punches and that'll get us our stitching holes ready um, to stitch this western wallet up we're going to do the inserts first for the cards then we'll come back we'll lay the wallet uh, bill inserts back on top of the main wallet and we'll punch those holes so we'll start with the card inserts which is the darker leather and punch those holes through the bill inserts. So let's move this part out of the way. We'll start with the very first one and the key to this is we're going to take our biggest stamp or punch that has six holes in it and we're going to make sure that we're centered with our insert for our cards and we are right at seven and a quarter inches so looks like about right at an inch and five eighths on each side there's an inch and five eighths inch and five eighths and that'll put us in the center side to side Then we just want to make sure that we're straight. So we're a half inch from the bottom. Half inch from the bottom. So once you know you're straight and you're even or you're centered, we want to make sure those do not move. So we're going to hold that down. I'm going to place my six hole punch right here in the center on my groove line at the bottom of the card holder and I'm going to go through both pieces where it just goes into this soft wood just barely so it doesn't move what that's going to do, and I'll leave that in there, I don't want to pull that back out, because I want that hole punch to hold those two pieces in place while I go through and do the rest of my holes. So, it is important that uh, we do get these holes the right distance from one another, that's why you use these punches, because they're already pre-measured and the tongs or the punches themselves you see if I can get that to focus are already spaced apart so they all match so what I can do is start down in this corner and now I have the four prong punch I can go through both pieces again then I can move up and then you put the last prong in the last hole and that's what keeps them lined up as you move up or down or across when you're putting in your stitching holes and I am hitting it hard enough to go through all the two pieces now I get up here to the top, if I go to that last hole, I'm going to split the very top of this. It's not So I'm going to back off one hole. And then I'll come over to the other side, 
and I'll do the same thing. I'll start at the bottom on my vertical line. Make sure you stay in that grooved line. And then move up. Put your last prong in the last hole. That's what keeps those lined up. And make sure you keep your punch in that groove line. And the same thing. If I go all the way up to the last hole on this one, it's going to want to come and split the top of my card holder. And I don't want that. So I'll back it off another hole. So basically on that last one, you end up with two of the prongs in two of the holes. So you're just splitting the difference. Then I can come back to this corner, put my last prong in the first hole that I put in the corner going vertically, and come back the other way. And then what I can do is I can take another one. I've got another, I've got a two hole. And I can take that four hole out. Put the two hole in. I'll back it up a couple of holes. Then I can slide my six hole out that's been holding that the whole time. come back and punch it with the four hole. And what that's going to do is that's going to fill in that void there. From where I had that six hole holding those pieces of leather together. Now I can take my four hole and just move on down the line here. And then at the end, my holes line up with this corner down here where I went vertically. Take that out. Hopefully you can see the holes punched in the card insert. But you can definitely see where it went through the card insert into the bill holder. So those holes line up perfectly so that I can do my stitching through there. And I can go ahead and clean those holes up a little bit. Uh, th again, this leather isn't that thick. So uh, my needles should pass through it fairly easily. Um, so I don't want to make my holes really big. So you, you want to be careful not to expand your holes too much. So there's the bottom part. That goes here. And I need to go ahead and punch my holes that go around the outside of the bill holder. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the card insert for the top first because I really need to punch through on the bill holders. I'll need to punch through the edge of the bill holder material, which is thinner than the actual material for the wallet. So that this leather is a lot thicker than this leather, about twice as thick. So I'll really need to punch through those two thicknesses at the same time. So I'm going to come back, set this aside, and I'm going to do these first. Again, I had um, an inch and five-eighths on each side. To get it centered. 
and then approximately a half inch from the bottom. Make it even. And then take a look at it. That looks good. I'll take my six hole punch, put it right in the center. Do the same thing I did on the first one. Then I'll come back with my four hole punch, start in this corner, and go vertical. Again, the key at this point is to make sure that we get all the holes lined up and we get through both pieces of the leather. It's not necessarily make sure we have a perfect hole to stitch through. We can always come back before we stitch and clean those holes up. We just need to make sure that they're marked and in the right spot. I'll do the vertical on this end. Again, making sure that you stay in those grooving holes or those grooves so that you get a nice straight stitch. And I've got a little bend right here that I probably need to fix. That's some of these punches if you're not careful when you pull them out if you wiggle them too much if they're not super strong they can bend so you need to keep an eye on that and I'll go down to the bottom Put my two hole punch in there to hold it. Take out my six hole and complete that with four hole. So you can see that one's been punched and then there's where the card holder goes and stitches onto the bill insert. So that's on the top. This one is on the bottom like so. Now it's time to come back and do these outside ones. And again, I'll be punching through the bill inserts and the actual wallet itself. And I think we'll do the bottom one first. And we'll kind of do it the same way. We'll get it lined up where it matches. the wallet then we'll put in the six hole punch and make sure that that's going to hold it and make sure that goes through both pieces of leather what that does is if you leave that in there that keeps anything from twisting or it keeps everything in line as you go ahead and punch the rest of the holes. And I still have a little little 
bit of bend in one of those. Again, I try to keep those as straight as possible. So I can start at the top and work my way around because this is a rounded corner instead of a square. So it makes it really hard for me to start on the bottom corner. So I'll start at the top corner. work my way around. I'm not trying to go through both thick thicknesses of this leather all at one time. All I'm doing is going through the thinner piece on top, the bill insert, and making sure I'm getting a mark into the thick leather on the bottom that's the wallet. And then I can come back and actually punch that by itself because I've already got it marked and the holes will line up. So you don't have to try to get through all the thicknesses at one time. Now I'm going to switch to my two hole punch and round this corner. If you don't switch to a two hole then what will happen is you'll get out of your groove stitching groove and then your stitch won't be straight. So I'll go around this corner, and as soon as I get around that corner, I can switch back to my four hole punch, and go back to punching four holes at a time. Again, the key here is not to try to punch through both thicknesses of leather all at one time. That's what will kind of get you in some trouble being able to pull your punch out. I'm just going through that thinner top layer, making a mark underneath. And as soon as I get through this, uh, I'll bring it back and I'll show you what I mean. So I'll go ahead and finish this and then we'll come back. in there as I take my six out that was holding everything together finish these last two stitches stitching holes and you can see the outside is done all the way across all the way up and down and on the outside of the actual wallet, you can see where my marks are. So I can go back through and clean these up and make sure they go all the way through. Some of them did, but not all of them. So I can go back and clean that up. So that's the bottom. There's the card insert that goes with that. Then this is the top. And I'll have to make sure I put the bottom one on so I know where to put the top one. And 
then I'll take my six hole punch. Go all the way through both pieces to hold that tight. I can take my card insert off, set it aside, set this bill and card insert off to the side, grab my four hole punch, and then go around this one. I'll do the same as I did on the bottom. As soon as I'm finished, I'll come back. stitching holes you can see now we've got the stitching holes that go all the way around the outside of our bill holder that goes on top the other one goes on the bottom you can see we've got the holes punched and I can go back and clean all these up so our holes are punched and the next step when we come back to the next video we'll be getting ready to stitch so stay tuned alright next video we'll be stitching this wallet so come on back check us out again and as I always say like share and subscribe see you next time